everyone, and welcome back to Mini Storytime with me, Miss Ashley. Burbank Public Library is putting out two mini story times a month, and this is our first one for February. I've got a lot of fun stuff to share with you today, a great book, a fun felt activity, so let's go ahead and get started with our opening song, Hello Friends. Hello Friends is one of my favorite opening songs because not only do we get to sing together, but we also get to use American Sign Language signs. So if you recall, uh, the words that we're gonna need to know for Hello Friends are hello, friends, friends, time to say hello. Okay, you ready to sing with me? I hope everybody's singing at home. Let's do it all together on the count of three, one, two, three. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. One more time. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Good job. In today's mini story time, I wanted to cover the theme of identifying and recognizing different shapes. Shapes are all around us. It's a great pre-literacy activity for little ones. I had a lot of trouble choosing which book I wanted to share with you today. So I finally settled on one, but I thought I'd still point out some of the other ones uh, to you so that you can check them out via our curbside pickup service. First one that I wanna show you is called City Shapes. And this book is by Diana Murray and Brian, I think it's Collier or Collier. And this is a great one about seeing different shapes all around the city, okay? So that's something that you can read about and actually do as an activity on your own, taking a walk around the city. The second one is a book called Friend Shape. And this is a book by Amy Krauss Rosenthal and Tom Lichtenheld. And so it's a fun book about shapes and also about friendship two very important things. And the third one that I wanted to point out to you is called Square Cat. It's silly. It's about a cat. That's a square. Who wouldn't want to read this book? It's by Elizabeth Schoonmacher, and it's also available for checkout at all three of our branches. And finally today, the book that I want to read to you is a new book that we have in at the library that I think you're really going to like. It's called Watch This, a book about making shapes by Jane Godwin Hilary Walker, and Becky Orpin. You guys all ready to listen? You got a comfy spot on the couch or the floor? I just need to get my reading glasses on, my seeing glasses so that I can read you this book. All set. One of the things that I love about this book is that it is starring all these different children. And then in the very beginning of the book, they name them. So I want to give them credit and by introducing them all to you. So we've got Saskia and Louisa, Marlo, Isaac, Edie, Nico, Flynn, Iris, Ari, Izzy, Leo, and Jasmine. Isn't that pretty cool? They're famous. And it goes like this. Louisa can make a circle with her arms. Do you see that? Izzy can make a triangle if she keeps her body straight. Or we can make a triangle like this. How many sides does this triangle have? Let's count. One side, two sides, three sides. Three sides for a triangle. Jasmine can make a little triangle with her fingers. Or a big square with a friend. How many sides does this square have? Let's count. One, two, three, Four. If we sit with our legs straight out, what shape do we make? Any guesses, guys? It's a star. Edie can make a semicircle with only herself. Do you see that? If you had two Edies, you would have a full circle, but there's only one. So we have a semicircle, which means a half circle. Let's make, ooh, a big circle. We've got Edie. Marlo, Saskia, and Ari. No corners, just curves. But look, Ari and Louisa have made a new shape. It's called a diamond. Did you guess that? What about a rectangle? It needs four corners. One, two, three, 
four. This is different from a square because it's got two long sides and two short sides. Here's a rectangle with a roof. What does that look like to you? It's the shape of a house. Saskia can jump on her footprints and Izzy can walk on her hands if Leo helps. We can make a straight line right here or a wavy line. Ooh. And what's this guys? It goes up, down, up, down, up, down. It's a zigzag. Everybody's bent in half. You can do it, Iris. She's not too sure. Let's try a pyramid. Watch this. One, two, three. It's a bit wobbly. Hold on, Nico. We need a rest. All that shape making makes you sleepy. I know, let's make some new shapes of our own. We made a table out of us. This shape has six arms. It's called an Ari Tangle. Let's hold hands like this. Now we are all joined together. What shapes do you see? I see a triangle, a semicircle. What's this one? A heart. Ooh, and another triangle. That was fun. And the very last one, Saskia, your tummy is rumbling. What shapes can you make? That's the end of Watch This, a book about making shapes. Anyone else feeling inspired to make some shapes? I am. Let's give it a try, shall we? Let's start with a circle. Nice rounded arms. Do you see that? No corners. A square. <laughs> Can you do that, guys? Make a square. How about a triangle? See, there's a point at the top. Ooh, let's try an oval. So an oval is like a circle, right? But it gets whoop, longer. So it's like that. How about a star? A star. <laughs> the better star. And the last one, let's try a diamond. You guys see? A diamond. Very good. Next up. I was thinking that we could play a shape detective game. You want to try? I've got a bunch of different objects up on my board and I'm going to put on my detective hat. Like so. And I'm going to show you all my different special shape spy glasses. And we're going to use our spy glasses to identify some of the shapes of the things up on my felt board. You guys ready? Okay, my first spy glass is in the shape of a round, it's a circle. Can you help me find which of these objects is a circle? Hmm, is this a circle? No, that's not a circle. Let's see, what about this right here? No, that's not a circle. What about this one right here? The earth is a circle. That's right, so we have one, circle anything else what else is a circle shape i spy it it's pink as a hole in the middle that's also in the shape of a circle donut i love circle shaped foods the next shape i have is it has four sides and they're all the same size we've got one two three four it's a square help me find some square items on my board okay is this in the shape of a square no. Let's see, what about this? Ah. No. Ooh, what about this cracker? Look, the cracker also has four sides. That must mean it's in the shape of a square. What else is in the shape of a square? Is our watermelon the shape of a square? No. Ooh, this clock. Yes, it is in the shape of a square. My next glass is right here. It has one, two, three sides, and it has one, two, three points. Do you know what shape it is? A triangle. Is this book in the shape of a triangle? No. 
Ooh, but what about this one? That fits perfectly. That watermelon slice is a triangle shape. Wait a minute. This has three sides. This has three sides, but it doesn't quite fit. Could it be that it's just because it's upside down? That's right, a slice of pizza is also a triangle. How about this shape? Spyglass. What do you notice? Two of the sides are long, right? The top and the bottom are long. And the sides over here, they're short. That means it's a rectangle. Oh, I think I see one. Do you guys see right here? It's an envelope. An envelope also has two long sides and two short sides. <gasps> what about here? Yeah? Oh, should I turn it around? Oh, I see. <laughs> the book is also a rectangle. It was just pointing a different way. What shapes do we have left? How about this? What do you guys think this is? It's not a circle, remember? It's a circle that's been stretched out. It's an oval. That's not an oval, nope. That's not an oval. What about? <gasps> Is an egg an oval? It is. An egg is an oval. Hmm. Hmm. No, no, no. <gasps> is the balloon an oval? You're right. It is. We have two shapes left. Our second last one has one, two, three, four, five points and is the shape called a star. This one's pretty easy. We know that it's not this one because that doesn't have five points. Or this one. But what about this cookie right here? Oh, it's a perfect fit. Any other stars? Let's see. That's right. This is a starfish. Can you tell me what shape this spyglass is? It's got one, two, three, four sides and four points. The angles are at a diagonal. It's not a square. It's not a rectangle. It's a diamond. We have this crossing sign. That's a diamond way over here. What is it? A kite. A kite flying in the sky. That's a diamond too, right? Wow. Looks like we got them all. Thank you for being shape detectives with me. You can play this at home. I made these at work, but you can cut out shapes and you can look all around all the shapes and play detectives at your house. Well, I hope everybody had fun today. As our closing song, I don't normally do a closing song, but I thought I would today. It's very simple. It's the same song uh, that we sing in the very beginning, Hello Friends, but instead of saying hello, we say goodbye. And do you know how to say goodbye in American Sign Language? Just put your hand up and you say, goodbye. Try it with me, say, goodbye, friends. And everything else is the same. You wanna sing it? Let's go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you everybody for joining me today for this special shape story time. Uh, I'll have another one for you in two weeks. So it's goodbye for now, but uh, hello soon. See ya.